right, so today we got uh, Jerry Brownfield's uh, 1968 uh, 400 stroker engine on our run stand. Uh, Jerry's got uh, actually a pretty cool engine here. I think they're going to put this in a 69 Firebird. I don't know that for sure, but uh, it's a Firebird of some kind, I do believe. Anyways, uh, it's got Ram Air 2 heads on it. So for those that don't know what those look like, this is a number 96 casting. Uh, you can see the date on this thing. It's a D238. So January, February, March, April. So uh, an April 23rd, 1968 casting date on this. Um, he got a aftermarket aluminum intake manifold, a Ram Air 4 style intake manifold with uh, the separated heat crossover, which is a cool idea. The factory had a good idea there. And uh, these are aluminum. This is uh, a replica of the original. So we had to do quite a bit of work to this thing to make it work with the heads. We ported the cylinder head, and when we did, uh, we made the port match a Ram Air 4 gasket. Well, these intake manifolds, even though they're a Ram Air 4, do not match the Ram Air 4 intake gasket. So we ended up having to add to the whole top of this intake manifold. And uh, Brandon, uh, my guy there that works here with me, he uh, did an awesome job making this thing look factory original. So that we had to modify uh, for anybody who wants to run with those intake manifolds. Be prepared because the port match is absolutely horrible. So anyway, this is a uh, 071 block casting. Uh, it's a dated AJ of looks like 20, 1967. So what is that, October? I think October. Now this is uh, the matching Ram Air 2 cylinder head, but notice it does not have the 96 in the center exhaust port. It does have R on one end and it has an A on the other. Now some of the Ram Air 2 cylinder heads were cast that way and I'm not sure why, maybe one of my uh, audience knows what the uh, answer to that is, but uh, I've seen them with 96 on the center ports and I've seen them without 96's, I've seen them with the RAs, and I've seen them without the RA on them. So, uh, just uh, depend on uh, whenever they cast them, I guess, I'm not sure. Now this engine has a quadrajet on it, and uh, you're gonna love the throttle response on this thing. This thing is wicked, wicked fast. And the reason that's so important, you know, some of these guys will say, well, why, why do you do that, or why do you care? Well, if you have wicked throttle response, that means the engine's making really good torque. If it's lethargic and uh, lazy, then your engine's not making a lot of torque. Now we have uh, a set of our run stand headers on this thing, and those, I've got a leak over here on this side, and you guys are gonna hear it, you can actually see it. I don't know if you can see in the picture there, see the black around that tube, the weld's leaking there, so. You're going to hear a little bit of an exhaust leak on this thing. Kind of sounds like a lifter, which it's not, but you're going to hear that a little bit. We've already warmed this thing up a little bit, so we're just going to fire this up real quick and uh, uh, run it for a short time. I'll let you listen to the idle and walk around here, and I'll show you what the uh, uh, how this thing revs, and then we are going to shut her down. where it's idling right around a thousand twelve hundred rpm and you can see we don't it's it's not fully warmed up yet it's about 160 we got a 165 thermostat in it it's kind of cool it's got a clear distributor cap on it so you can see the busy going around in there if you look real close you might be able to see the spark arc in there. I, I can see it whenever I'm looking at it, but I don't know if this will pick it up or not. This has got a, a hydraulic roller and a comp cams uh, hydraulic roller with uh, 236, 242, a 50, and a 110 load separation. So it's kind of like a hopped up uh, Ram Air 4 cam, which would have been a cam that would have came with these cylinder heads. It's got a nice idle. Got that GT 
go sound. Yes, we got an automatic flywheel on this thing right now. So it, it does rev a little quicker with a, a flex plate instead of a flywheel. But even with flywheels, our engines rev fast. I think I, I told you already, but maybe I didn't. This thing's got Johnson hydraulic roller lifters in it too. Which, that's all we run on the hydraulic cams now. They, they're quiet, they hold up well. We've had good luck with them. This is a uh, 4250 stroke with a 4185 bore, which makes it a 467 cubic inch engine. All right, Brandon, let's ramp on it a little bit. Wicked throttle response, gotta love that. Hi, Jerry. Happy birthday. Today's Jerry uh, Brownsville's birthday. Happy birthday, Jerry. 